is up everybody, I'm Starlord, welcome to today's awesome video, it's gonna be pretty cool. We are gonna be looking at legendary Pokemon or rare Pokemon that are not actually obtainable yet in Pokemon Brick Bronze. Now I should elaborate on that, so basically, there are Pokemon in this game that are in the in-game files, but only people like moderators have them or people who bought them previously before the game went big and they're pretty amazing such as Rainbow Mew. Yeah, I'm actually going to be showing you guys the sprite for Rainbow Mew. Now these Pokemon exist in the in-game files. Like I said, they are there in Pokemon Brick Bronze but only admins and moderators and whatever whatever can actually spawn them in for themselves which is kind of unfair. But still, we're going to be looking at what Pokemon we could see in the future. Uh, before we get into today's video, guys, I would like to say that for my 150,000 subscriber giveaway, I'm going to be giving away 150 shiny Pokemon, which is that, that pretty amazing. So if you're not already subscribed to the channel, subscribe, turn on notifications, because we are only 7,000 subscribers away from 150,000. And yeah, this is going to be a pretty big giveaway, not to mention all of the other giveaways that I have planned in the future, like a red tail Pikachu giveaway, or, you know, legendary giveaway. You, you know, anyway, it's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, now I've done that, let's get into today's video. So here we have a very blurry picture of the in-game file Pokemon. Now, I am very sorry that it is blurry, but this is what it shows up as. This is the only way we can look at this. There's no better quality picture than this. Now, first off, there's a couple of Pokemon that really stand out to me here. Really, really stand out to me. And that one is this one right here. So, um, of course this is Gurdon, I think, right next to like a red Umbreon. Someone's got like a red Umbreon. So like I said, it is blurry, but if we just zoom in, we can see that all of this line right here, it has a red Gurdon, or is that a red Palkia? I don't know whether that's Palkia or Gurdon. Then we have like, um, we have an Umbreon, which is red, and that's not a shiny version Umbreon. Umbreon looks different when it's shiny. That is definitely a different Umbreon. And then we have like a blue Victini. I don't even know what Pokemon that is. I wish I knew. But then we also have like a crystal... Wait, is that? No, no, wait, that's, that's Gurdon. Gr Gr Groudon, Groudon. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I'm sorry if I'm not. That right there is Gurdon. And it's like a crystal blue. Now, the shiny version of it isn't that color. So we know it's not a shiny version. It's actually some different variant. Then right next to that one, we have Rainbow Bidoof, which all of you guys know that Lanzo actually gives them out when he live streams. Uh, sometimes he live streams and he'll pick a few lucky people to have a Rainbow Bidoof, which is just awesome. Wish I had one. Uh, but then we move across. I think that's Dark Ho-Oh. Ho-Oh. Ho-Oh, because last time I said Ho-Ho, everyone went, they went crazy. They were like, what are you? Are you some kind of Santa Claus, Star Lord? Are you delivering presents on Christmas Eve? No, it's just the way I pronounce things, so I'm sorry if I say any of these wrong. It's just my pronunciation. But then next to that, we also have an Electabuzz. Not an Electabuzz, but the one Electrive? That one's a different color too. So maybe they're going to have like an event with most of these Pokemon right here, because that blue Victini right there is definitely not a shiny Victini. Definitely not. A uh, shiny Victini is, is definitely not that color, I think. Wait, is it? I actually, I think I may have mistaken right now. But um, anyway, what we're gonna do is just kind of go down a little bit. As you can see, uh, we have some of the, the newer generation Pokemon in there, in there too, like, um, I forget his name, uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon, I don't know what their names are, I've not really played Pokemon Sun or Moon as much as I would like to, but then at the very bottom we also have like these amazing Pokemon again, there's like a Rainbow Mew. Now I do know that one person or one or two people in Pokemon Brick Bonds actually have this Mi Rainbow Mew, and they are obviously the people who created the game, lucky for them. That is an awesome Mew. I would love to fight that. I would love to fight that Mew. It, lo it just looks amazing. It really does. Uh, then we have some like newer gen Pokemon, like there's a uh, Alolan Rattata and Raticate, uh, Alolan uh, Raichu, which looks amazing. I hope that it's in the new update. And then we've got just like some random ones. It just it just looks absolutely crazy. It's so cool. Down here. We don't, it's not Dialga, it's not, it's the Pokemon from Pokemon X, no, it's not X and Y, it's Diamond and Pearl, I believe. It's not Palkia, but it's the other one, and it's kind of like black and red, I don't know what that is. And then right next to that one, we also have another black and red one, like what is that? 
what are these Pokemon? But we also have another page to look at. So let's just kind of switch to the other page. Let's see. So here is the red Umbreon that I was talking about. Uh, as you can see, this is a much bigger picture. We can actually see the colors of it. This is the Umbreon that we saw in those in-game files. Now, I'm not actually sure if anyone has these Umbreons yet, but damn, do they look cool. They look so cool. I normally don't like red on Pokemon, but it does. It looks really cool. It, re it really does. Now, there is two shades of red, and it kind of looks like one could be a, like, shiny form or something, because one looks like a bright red, then one looks like a dark red. So the bright red's at the top, the dark red's at the bottom. I'm not really too sure about that, like if it, if it is a shiny version or not, but that is the Umbreon. I don't know what it's called at all. I couldn't even think for a second what that could be called, but it looks cool. Uh, moving on, we do have some more pictures of other Pokemon. So let's just kind of go down a little bit. Um, let's see, there's Mega Rayquazar. He's looking awesome. Then we have, like, Primal uh, Kyogre and stuff like that. That's cool, too. Do we have any more? We also have... Wow, what? Okay, so down at the very bottom of the picture right now, you will see that there is a black and, re uh, black and red Landorus, maybe? And it just looks cool. And there's also a black and red Mewtwo. And then, I don't know what that is next to it. It's maybe one of the Reggies. I know, but that's black and red, too. What are those Pokemon? What could they possibly be? Like, what are the black and red forms? Maybe it's something that I've missed? I, I've just never really saw them, I guess. I don't know. Now, a couple of days ago, I actually did a video uh, stating what Pokemon I would like to see in the game. And right here, we have, I think this is the Florette I was talking about. The uh, easiest uh, Florette, I think. Uh, it's the one right next to the blue and yellow, like in between the blue and the orange kind of one. Uh, that looks like it. So I don't know whether that's already in Pokemon Brick Bronze or not. I would really like to see if it is, because that would be super amazing. But uh, yeah, it is in the in-game files, which is pretty cool too to look at. Let's move on, because there's not many really big Pokemon there. Uh, now we have, oh, the Victini thing. Okay, so this is the Victini that I was talking about too. The one that we saw. Now you can see its body kind of looks dark, and it's blue little V. So, is that actually in the game too? Because I don't have a shiny Victini yet, unfortunately. But I'm pretty sure it isn't. Shiny Victini is like, really white, and like, I, his V is like orange or something, right? I, I, I don't know, this is all interesting to look at. I love looking at these. Uh, then we have uh, Shadow Ho-Ho. We also know that he is in the game. Uh, I believe, uh, what's his name? Uh, Russo has battled uh, somebody with a, sh uh, a, a Shadow Ho-Ho. Ho-Ho. Oh, oh. <laughs> I, I feel so awkward pronouncing these names. I'm so sorry, guys, but it's just my pronunciation. Um, now, that would be amazing to get a hold of, but it looks like that'll only be like a, a Pokemon that you could get in some sort of event. I, I don't know. Maybe. Now we move on. We also see that uh, there's this one called Volk... Volk... Uh, Volcanon or something like that. I never really caught it, ever. I never even battled it in the games, unfortunately. But he is in the in-game files, and he looks very, very crazy. Like, what is your favorite, like, variant that you've seen in this video so far? It's kind of just interesting to look at these things and kind of take a good look at them. I also have some egg uh, kind of samples, uh, a lot of eggs uh, that are not in the game yet. Like, a lot of the legends, all of the legendaries, actually, all of them have eggs. So, you know the way you can find a mes mesmeric egg or uxie egg or kind of something like that? You can actually find, like, a... Let's see. What do we have? We have a... Let's see. X and Y egg. We've got an X and Y egg here. We've got a Mewtwo egg somewhere. I'm pretty sure I saw it. Where are you? We've just got loads of eggs. There's a Moltres, a Zapdos, an Articuno egg. Of course, these Pokemon will not be able to breed. But it's kind of curious to see, like, why were those eggs made in the first place? There's an Entai egg, a Raikou, Soy Sauce egg... This is insane. It's just kind of crazy how all of these files exist in the game. And to kind of speculate what we may see next. I mean, everything's there. They just need to decide, hey, when are we going to give them Zapdos? When when do you think we should give them Articuno? No, we'll leave Articuno for a while. Because we know everyone wants Articuno. We'll leave Mew to last. Because everyone wants Mew. Especially Star-Lord. He really wants a Mew. Um, which I do. I want a shiny Mew. But 
it looks kind of cool. They all look kind of cool, and I wish that they were more high quality so we could actually like take a proper dive in and look at them and all of that, but unfortunately we can't because like I said, these are the in-game files. These are what exist. There's no other kinds of files that exist apart from the ones on, let's say, Lando's computer, T-Brad's computer, all of those guys, you know, our hero, whatever exists on their PC is probably the high quality ones. What they put on the Roblox website for us to see is the low quality ones, because they're, they're sneaky like that. Uh, but if any of you guys want to see any of these that are in today's video, go and check out the description below. Uh, just go and look at them for yourself. You can actually see them right there and then and kind of take a look for yourself. And also, I would like to say, whilst you're down there, I actually have my Twitter, my Instagram, and a couple more things. So if you want to follow me on those, feel free to follow me on those guys. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for watching today's video. What was your favorite Pokemon that we saw in today's video? All of them look crazy. They really do. I personally really love that, like, that Rainbow Mew. I would love that. Maybe a Rainbow Ditto. That would, that would make my day too. But, um... Yeah, tell me what you guys think in the in the comment section below. And until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya.